All right, so let's go into this next race. Your next race will be at Road America, attracting 800,000 visitors a year with over 400 events held annually. 400 events per year. That's that's a lot. Wow. 800,000 people. That's quite a lot too. So let's see how we go here. It'll be one of those 400 events done per year. And let's see how we go. All right, let's just start this up straight away. Tell you what, this car definitely isn't slow. It's pretty, pretty damn fast. bumps there that I just went straight over. Whoops. I don't understand how some of these races, this guy in first place just absolutely dominates. Like there's no way I'm catching to, up to this guy in first place. But some other races, like the last race, I was absolutely dominating just that whole race. So it is a bit weird sometimes with the difficulty because I'm definitely more used to coming second rather than first. Finish that lap under two minutes, which is nice. Your second lap's usually always faster than your first. Well, I'm pretty sure every lap is meant to be faster than your first. So 157 I have to beat this time to try and beat my last go. See, that guy coming first is destroying, and the other guy's coming, the other guy coming third is being destroyed by me, so it's just a little bit weird the way that they do that. Oh no. Alright, next time I'm just going straight over those speed bumps. I was focusing on my time there, so I've beaten it by seven seconds, which wasn't bad. Still not very good. I should def I will definitely beat it soon. That guy coming first is winning by so much. Wow. I'm excited for my wheel spin after this too. 
you know you're going to have a lucky next race when you get something really good in a wheel spin. So that's what I'm hoping for. I'm just hoping for a good wheel spin so then I know that my luck's there for today. I said I was going straight over these speed bumps again, which is exactly what I'm doing. There we go. One more lap after this, let's go. I didn't even check what I got for that last lap time because that was definitely my best but it will tell me at the end and I'm sure one person watching this might have saw so straight over the speed bumps again not risking that what I did last time Second place, here we come. Right, here we go. Finish this race in second place. Fastest lap was 146, so that's 11 seconds faster than my last one. And 10,000 credits, and there we go. Let's see our spin. Oh, that car looks so nice. I wanna see that Lamborghini or whatever. That, that car looks cool, that other one, that 200,000 one. Yes, all right, I'm actually happy with that. I said that car looked cool, and that's why I pressed A then, so I'm very happy with that car. And let's get into this next race also. And we got another new showcase. All right, that one actually looks cool. So I'll do that after I finish this US, op US tour, US Open, I was about to say. Your next race will be at Laguna Seca Raceway in beautiful Monterey, California. All right. This does look pretty beautiful, as she said. It is very dusty and sandy. But I guess that's the way it goes and that's the way I guess that's the part of California that's very dusty and sandy so that's the reason why it is because there was hills in the region that looked like it too let's see how I go here all right go straight into the race Let's go, let's go. Three, 
three laps on this one, which is, I don't know, three or two is my favorite. This one actually looks pretty hard, like this, the guys I'm going against are doing pretty well, so. That was, a, that was good though, that was a good, dirty hit. Dirty play hit there and got me into fourth position. Hopefully I'll be able to get in third here, maybe. Maybe the next turn or I might beat him in this right here. Next turn, I reckon. This turn here, I should beat this guy. Went straight past him. Just too easy, that guy. Bit of a downhill slope there. Second place, here we come. Hopefully. Yep, there we go. About 2.15 I think this will take. This race. 2.10 actually. Maybe 2.15. I think it's going to be 2.15. And it was... Exactly 2.15. Oh, it said 209. Alright, let's go. That was terrible by me there. Pretty cool seeing the helicopters up there too. That's something that they probably... It looks so simple, like just seeing a helicopter fly above, but I'm sure for them to actually put that in the game, it's actually pretty difficult, like it takes time and everything. But they put it in there and it just makes some people notice the detail that they put in, because it is pretty amazing and I'm sure like 10 years ago, you can never expect anything like this. And I'm not even playing, like I'm just playing this on the Xbox One, which is the only console this game's on. But I could just imagine this in like 4 or 5K display, and it would be so nice. That's why I'm very excited to get my gaming PC that I get very soon, because I do have 4K TVs and I'm very excited to play 4K games on my PC to actually use it to its full potential because I have seen 4K but I haven't seen it I haven't actually you know played with it and everything and seen the differences because I I personally do know that PC is better than consoles even though I have hardly even played a PC. I just know that because there's many reasons why and yeah so but it's your opinion if you prefer the consoles over I don't really mind too much I don't really mind at all really mothers polishes waxes cleaners okay I wouldn't really understand why that would be sponsoring a car uh, car racing? I don't even know. What is it? See, first place is destroying again. I really don't understand this. Maybe it's because I don't... I haven't, like, upgraded my car or something. 
I wouldn't be surprised if that is the reason. It's alright though, because I have actually done this the cheapest as possible, I think. I think I only spent about 20000 on getting this, 30000 I think, to get this car, and didn't upgrade it at all, so that's probably the reason. Very nearly done. Here we go, coming up to the final little stretch after this turn. And I think we have another wheel spin, don't we? Oh no, it's two. It's after this race, I'll have another one. So, going straight through here to the Mazda sign at the finish line. And we'll drift through just to make it even look cooler. And there we go. 205 was my best lap, not bad there, we get a badge, a badge, yep, 8,900, alright, so that's pretty good, just finished the US tour. Well done, you completed the series. Thank you. Congratulations, you've mastered the performance of agile, sporty vehicles. Now, compete with the very best example of sports car icons. Alright, so this is pretty cool. So I've actually got pretty far through. 